Hello, we're here at the BCLA conference this weekend in Liverpool. This Hello. is Paul Chamberlain who's been talking about the exciting three year results about the MySight lens over the weekend. And my name is Natalie Buckman, I'm an optometrist in Brisbane in Australia, I work alongside Kate Gifford. So today we'll get started. Paul, could you tell us a little bit about the, the MySight lens, what is it? Sure, so MySight is a daily disposable soft contact lens that we've designed to treat myopia progression in kids. Okay, and could you tell us a little bit about the three-year results that you've been discussing here at the conference, please? Sure, yeah, so the three-year study is on a group of eight to 12-year-old children, and we split that group in half, and we treated half of them with Proclear one day, so they just gave them a regular soft contact lens, and the other half we gave them MySight and followed them for that entire three years. The myopia control level as a percentage is just over 50%. And as I said, it's sustained over the three years of the trial. The children were prescribed the contact lens. Mm -hmm. Was there an over refraction that was required to provide the children sure. good, clear sure. vision? There's a lot of research, I think, that's come out. Uh, particularly, there was an Arvo poster with David Benson who mentions that with the distance centered multifocal contact lenses, you needed on average about minus 0.5, minus 0.75 extra correction. What did yeah. you find with my side? So we certainly haven't found that amount and our over refraction is, as a mean, is pretty close to zero. The, the, the message to the fitters is yes. fit on label. Okay. There, there's always exceptions to that, as you'd, as you'd expect. Some kids mm. will take a bit more minus, some people might even take a bit more plus than label. But the aim should be that you fit on label as a first port call. Okay. Does this lens seem to work better on particular children, do you feel? Yeah, so we ran a statistical model to, um, to, to look at this. And the model shows us that younger kids, for instance, progress faster than, than uh, older kids, and we've said that before. There's a myopia control effect in the younger cohort, and there's a myopia control effect in the older cohort, but those groups progress a little bit differently. Okay, sure. it, 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 it mirrors the trend you'd expect, but the control still happens. In year one, the, the MySight lens progresses by just under 0.2 diopters in the, across the group, so this is the mean of the group, and the proclear group progressed just over half of Diopters, so that gave a difference between the groups of 0.4 um, diopters. Year two, you see, it's interesting you see this little bit of a dog leg in the, uh, the proclear data. So later that this group slowed down slightly, whereas my side, again, the change was, was about just over 0.2 of a diopter. So they're progressing in a pretty even manner. And then in year three, again, well, actually, there's a little bit statistically significant. <laughs> slowing of, of my side, but again just under a 0.2 um, diopter progression which means that they change by just half a diopter throughout the entire study whereas Proclear has now continued, the group has continued on the same slope that they did between year one and year two, so year two to year three, to give a, nearly a three quarters of a diopter or on average a quarter diopter a year effect. And then basically the actual length changes mirror what we've just shown in the spherical equivalent really well. When you put that up against all the other soft multifocal studies, most importantly, we've finally got a three year data point in soft lenses. So Paul, tell us when should an optom reach for a MySight contact lens? Okay, well, uh, like I just said, right, you, we've just shown that although progression is different between younger kids and older kids, the myopia control effect was, was similar between that young group and older group. Mm -hmm. So basically we've shown it's effective on younger kids and older kids. Mm -hmm. So age shouldn't be a restriction as long as the kid's comfortable um, using contact lenses. So I think when you're starting to see myopia progression that's concerning you, mm. You can, you can fit these kids in, in this lens and, and it's going to have an effect most likely. And currently what are the parameters available in the MySight lens? It's available in minus a quarter mm -hmm. up to minus six mm -hmm. uh, diopters. And it goes up in 0.25 steps? Yeah, that's right, yeah. Okay. yeah, yeah. And just, but just okay. one base curve in diameter, which sure. is the same as Proclear. Okay. Down. Tell me, Paul, where do you see the future of myopia control technology? Okay, good question. So, um, one of the things I presented actually was that whilst we've got great myopia control across the population there are mm. differences across that population so some kids mm. don't progress at all mm. so just over 40 percent of eyes mm. uh, don't really change in spherical equivalent refractive error across the three years whereas there's 
other eyes or kids that are changing at a, at a level which is similar to the control group. Mm. So what's different about those two subsets, if you like? Mm. Is there anything that we can measure on the kids that are still progressing fast, if that's the right mm. description, uh, measure something different, predict that, and do something different for them? Mm. And so I think a lot of research will be in, in that area yeah. so that maybe we can offer a couple of options uh, yeah. to, to fitters when they're um, when they're facing kids that are still progressing at a fast rate. Thank you so much Paul for your right. time and for discussing the three-year results for the MySite study very exciting you guys please feel free to, to comment uh, you know ask any questions like share it with colleagues I think this is definitely something that we should all be talking about, particularly with the new technologies that we have to focus on myopia control for our patients. Thank you. Thanks for listening, everybody. Bye.